Okay, good morning dear students. Uh, today we will learn about the matrices. Basically, the matrix is just the arrangement of the number in the form of rows and columns. Okay. Uh, if we have some rows and columns, <coughs> like uh, uh, this is a element. Suppose that we have an element in the form of 6, 1, 2 and 1. And this type element of the this type layout of the number is known as rows. This is these are the rows. This is the first row R1, similarly the second row R2, R3, and R4 also. R4 also. Okay. Similarly, the columns are this is the first column is C1, second column is C2, third column is C4, and so on. Okay. So the other uh, the, uh, the the vertical, the vertical element, like uh, uh, this, this number is called 0, 1 and 2. The vertical element, this type element is known as the column and the horizontal element element is known as the rows. Okay. So the matrix is just the element of the number in the form of the column. Okay. okay? Uh, this is the uh, <coughs> element of the number in the form of rows and columns. So the definition of the matrix is a matrix is a matrix is uh, a matrix is an is an ordered rectangular ordered rectangular rectangular element of the number in the form of a column rectangular array rectangular array of number number in the form of form of rows and columns okay the a matrix is an uh, ordered rectangular array of numbers in the form of rows and columns. Okay. The representation and the representation of the matrix is in uh, is capital letter. You can represent the matrix in the form of capital letter like A, B, C, and so on. Okay. And the notation, the notation of the matrix are uh, inside this bracket or inside this bracket. This is the notation of the matrices. Uh, <coughs> For example, suppose that the uh, suppose that this is a matrix, suppose that A equal to A is a matrix of order of order M by N and a element A I Z. Okay. Now according to this notation, we can represent first in the order of matrix. This is the order, this this M N represent the order, order of a matrix. This is the notation of element. Notation of elements. Okay. So we can represent the notation of elements uh, by A I J and that is by the A I J means A I J means A I N J. The indices I represent the location in the row. Location in rows and J represent the location in column location in column ok uh, so, uh, similarly suppose that we have matrix A equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, 7, 8 and 9 this is the matrix and the order order represent order represent the number of rows and columns in the matrix M equal to number of rows, number of rows, and N represent number of columns, number of columns. Okay, this is the representation. Uh, so the representation is M cross N. First always represent rows, and N represent columns. Second always represent columns. Similarly, the for example, this is the order of this matrix is three times three. In, in this matrix we have three rows and three columns. 
okay and the location uh, for example the location of this element the location of this element is uh, a the location of this element is a to it mean this element situated at this second row and second column similarly the location of this element is a second row and third column this is the second row and this is the third row okay so the this number aij represent the location and i indices uh, the notion of the location in the row and j indices location in the column okay so this is the basic uh, concept of the matrix matrix is just the arrangement of the number in the form of rows and column now uh, now we have some important matrices like uh, like first kind of matrices is a uh, rectangular matrix matrix rectangular matrix and inside the rectangular matrix we have uh, uh, we have we have first a type rectangular matrix row matrix row vector we guess then or row matrix okay second is b type is column matrix okay in the row matrix we have only one row of the uh, we have only one row it's mean in the row matrix represented by r and this is a i j and always in this matrix we have only one row and n column okay uh, for example the row the example of the row matrix is this is the row matrix this is the row matrix 1 2 3 and 4 in this matrix we have only one row and four column okay Similarly, second is the column matrix. The column matrix is the representation of column matrix B I J, and this is the n rows and one column. The in this matrix we have we have more than one rows and only one column. One, two, three, four. In this matrix we have only we have four rows and one column. Similarly, similarly, the this is the rectangular matrix and this is also a rectangular matrix this is also a rectangular matrix in first time matrix we have the elements are 1 2 3 and 4 5 6 7 8 in this matrix the number of rows are less than number of columns we have two rows and four columns okay in this matrix we have the number of rows are less than number of columns uh, so this is the matrix uh, This is the matrix in which the number of rows are not less than number of columns. This kind of matrix is also known as rectangular matrix. Similarly, second is seven and eight. In this matrix, we have four rows and four rows and two columns. This is also rectangular matrix. This, this is also known as uh, vertical rectangular matrix. This is also known as horizontal rectangular matrix. Okay. Uh, so these are the four types of rectangular matrix. Okay. Uh, next is next is the square matrix. Okay. Next, the second part is the square matrix. The square matrix. Okay. In the square matrix, we have uh, we have. We have is basically the basic concept of the square matrix is the matrix in which the element A I J and in which the number of rows always equal to number of columns. Okay, if number of row number of rows equal to number of columns, then the matrix is known as the square matrix. Okay, inside the square matrix we have many parts of the square matrix. Okay, ah, uh, student, this is the first lecture and we will uh, we will continue in second lecture from square matrix okay thank you